Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has fired the starter's gun on a six and a half week campaign ahead of the referendum for an Indigenous voice to Parliament. Australians will head to the polls on October 14 for the nation's first referendum in more than 20 years. Referendum day will be the 14th of October. A jump start to the referendum campaign in Adelaide, the place of the red kangaroo. It's funny that that kangaroo never goes backwards, only forwards. Australians will soon decide whether to take a constitutional leap and recognise Indigenous Australians in the nation's birth certificate and establish a voice advisory body. A once-in-a-generation chance to bring our country together and to change it for the better. No more waste, better results where they are needed. The Yes campaign mobilising an army of over 30,000 volunteers, driven by guest appearances from across the political divide, including the Greens leader and former Labor leader Bill Shorten side by side in Melbourne. Albanese government ministers and Teals together on Perth's popular Cottesloe Beach and senators from across the aisle amassing together in the nation's capital. I think it'll save us money, to be honest. Yeah. Don't know. Setting up a David and Goliath battle between the yes and no camps. It's all Albo. He's the one who started this, and if he thinks that the voice is the answer to fixing everything, this magic wand... To suggest that we have not had a voice is completely and utterly misleading. He says that all of the detail will be provided after the vote takes place. If you don't know, vote no, because this is the biggest change to our constitution in our country's history. The Yes campaign has won over one-time voice opponent, former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. An assembly of the kind that is proposed, was proposed, would be, in effect, a third chamber of parliament. I've reflected very long and hard over it. It will not be a third chamber of parliament, but it will have enormous influence. We shouldn't kid ourselves. Yes, campaigners hope their voices will be the loudest, but they'll have to shout louder according to the latest polls. To succeed, they have to convince the majority of Australians, as well as at least four of the six states. With New South Wales and Victoria leaning towards yes, Queensland and WA leaning towards no, Tasmania and South Australia are shaping up to be the key battlegrounds. If our great-grandparents can say yes to waves of migration, if our grandparents can say yes in 1967, then this generation is capable of saying yes to an advisory committee. Canberra is important. We're not a state, uh, so obviously we don't count on that test. The Prime Minister insists this is a once-in-a-generation opportunity for voters which should not be wasted. And don't close the door on the next generation of Indigenous Australians. Vote yes! Olivia Caisley, Sky News, Canberra. After confirming a date for the Voice to Parliament referendum yesterday, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese will spend the first day of campaigning in Tasmania. With just over six weeks until Australians vote on The Voice, Tasmania has emerged as a possible swing state. No campaign as Warren Mundine and Jacinta Price spent yesterday in Tasmania before travelling on to Adelaide, where they'll hold events today. Both Tasmania and South Australia are expected to be key states in the election as both sides ramp up campaigning now that that official date has been set.